A few months ago, I was sitting in a small cafe in Shenzhen, where a young engineer pulled out a shiny magnet and said, "This little thing powers your Tesla and half of America's defense industry." I laughed at first, but he wasn't joking. That tiny metal, neodymium, comes from a mine in China, and it's changing how the world thinks about power. We call them rare earth, but they are everywhere in your phone, wind turbines, EVs, even fighter jets. The rare part isn't the metal itself; it's who controls the supply chain. China doesn't just dig them out of the ground; it refines, processes, and magnetizes them. That middle step is what gives Beijing its leverage. In 2025, China quietly. Tightened export rules again, sending a message that these aren't just minerals; they are strategic tools. When Washington and Brussels read that news, alarms went off. The U.S. tried building new supply chains in Australia and Canada, while India turned to Myanmar. But processing rare earth isn't easy. It's toxic, expensive. And requires decades of know-how. That's why, even after billions of dollars of diversification, the world still depends on Chinese plants in Inner Mongolia and Jiangxi. This isn't monopoly by force; it's monopoly by mastery. So here's what's really happening: the new trade war isn't about iPhones or chips; it's about elements. If you control the building blocks of technology, you don't have to fight for markets. You quietly decide who can build the future. China learned that lesson early, after being cut off from Western tech in the 1980s. It invested heavily in materials no one cared about. Now, decades later, everyone cares. So next time you see a magnet or a motor, remember. The story inside it might be written in Chinese, because in the race for innovation, it's not always the smartest who win. Sometimes it's the ones who control the atoms. If you are curious about what modern China is really like, whether for travel, study, business, or just curiosity, come visit my website, ericonchina.com. You'll find real stories, insights. And ways to connect with me personally. See ya.